Hannah Seymour here. I'm a consultant geriatrician at Fiona Stanley Hospital. What Dan is going to demonstrate for you in this very short video is how to assess a patient's cognition. He's going to use a validated tool, an AMT4, to assess Rennie's cognition, which will give us a really good baseline to then assess for delirium during his inpatient stay. Uh, good day, Rennie. I'm Dan, one of the orthopaedic registrars. I'm going to ask you a few silly questions. Cool. All right. First one, what, when were you born? In Scotland. When? What was your birthday? 16, 10, 31. Perfect. And how old are you? 90. 90. Very good. Do you know where you are at the moment? It's, it's, it's time the hospital, yes. Really good work. And do you know what year it is? No, I can't tell you, but no, no, I don't, I can't remember. Okay, can you have a guess? Got a be around about 97. 97, all right, good guess, good try. It's 22. Right. It's 22. Yeah. Oh, right. So that's three out of four on his AMT4 score. Thanks so much to Dan for demonstrating how to do an AMT4. The good thing about an AMT4 is it's very short and it get, allows us to get a really good assessment of someone's baseline cognition. If someone completes an AMT4 and gets four out of four, it's very unlikely that they have significant cognitive impairment, although milder cognitive impairment is still possible. What I'm now going to do is show you how using that baseline AMT4 on admission, knowing that he scored three out of four today, I can then go on to do an assessment for delirium. So I'm just going to ask you, Rennie, yeah. can you start at December and tell me the months of the year backwards? Oh, that, I'm not too sure. How about we just try together? So before yeah. December, there's November. In November, and then that's October, I yes. think. Yes. Yeah. And what's November. before that? What's before October? No, no, it's, no. Do you remember what's before October? No, I'm sorry, I can't. That's okay, you started. No, yeah. So because he started, he gets a score of one for that part of the test. So you can go all the way down your February, March, April, I know, May, it's June, much July, easier August. that way, yeah. isn't it? <laughs> Easy. Thanks so much, Rennie. That's all right. The other part of a 480 is his um, fluctuation which is why it's so important for us to get that baseline AMT4 on admission so we can see if it changes from one test to another. Um, so that's why we really want you as orthopaedic registrars to do that AMT4 assessment in the emergency department to our, allow us to then go on and assess for delirium. And what I think we've demonstrated in this very short video is that that's a really simple, easy test for you to do. So just a reminder of those four questions. Where are you? How old are you? What's your date of birth? And what is the current year? And it really is as simple as that to give us a score out of four. Thank you.